Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, in case you didn't know, the SPY is in risk of going lower. <laughs> Just in case anybody didn't know that, uh, we're in serious risk of moving lower. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, good morning, Gavin. Good son. Thomas, Mike, JW, Gregor, John, Aaron, Misha, Mark. Jason, my, how you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, put your britches on there, Goodson. <laughs> we are, we're, we're in, I mean, the spy is in risk and going lower. I, I think we all know that. There, there's not a lot of great news out there. And if you listen to the, um, to the more, or the financial shows, I listen to CNBC. Man, I'll tell you, talking about gloom and doom. <laughs> Market moving lower. You know, um, a lot of times when they start talking gloom and doom, it's time to get bullish. Uh, I'm not so sure about this time. Not so sure. Um, the trend has been <laughs> definitely to the downside with some minor relief rallies. I want to take a look at the weekly chart. Here's the weekly chart. Uh, this is our dotted deuce. Uh, for those that don't know, it's a 200 period moving average using a front weighted moving average and the low and the average of the lows is what it is uh, it works out very very well I, I find it to be uh, very responsive with price and price being very responsive with it um, we're sitting there and I, I just I, I have a hard time believing that we're not gonna mosey on down here to the 200 period moving average on the weekly uh, and we could absolutely move lower. So, uh, but let's t let's climb down this tree one tree one branch at a time. Now we could definitely see some sort of a relief rally, and we we've seen that <laughs> as short lived as as wimpy as it might be. We have uh, we have seen that we have seen it a couple of times. Uh, there's a little wimpy one. We 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 we. So when we're trading longs. I think we've got to be really, really careful. Um, tight with stops. And, you know, don't be afraid to pull some profits off the table. The power is with the overall trend of the market. SPY, you can see the trend. Just look at the green, red dots. Uh, you, can, you can use whatever line you want. Uh, I don't see how you can paint any kind of a, anything other than a bearish trend. Same with the diamonds. Whoops. Diamonds. Same with the diamonds. I, I you know, I, I don't know how you could get a bullish, uh, a bullish move or bullish trend out of this. It's bearish trend, and it is what it is, and you can't change it until the trend changes. Um, IWM. Let's get rid of all that. IWM still bearish. You know, is it creating some sort of a bottom here? Yeah, I suppose so. It could be. Uh, I could win the lottery ticket this afternoon, too. Um, you know, I, I could hit the jackpot uh, as well. So uh, the thing we need to do is see some proof in there. So, you know, keep that in mind. T2122, we're rallying right up here. It keeps moving up, um, which means nothing. Follow the charts. Follow the charts. I mean, this gives you some idea maybe if you're oversold and maybe if you're overbought up here. but you know, what are you going to do with that piece of information right there? In the end, you end up following the charts is what you do. So right now for me, stay cautious. Um, stay cautious, yeah. No one wants to hear that. Everybody wants to hear trade, 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 trade. And uh, that's all fine and dandy if the majority of trading works out. Uh, unfortunately, when you're trying to fight this market, it doesn't work out so good. I've got some longs and shorts here. Oh, good morning, Nancy. How are you? Mike. Hey, we'll we'll look at uh, individual charts right after the market opens, but for this, I just need to kind of go over what I have here, Mike. Uh, and there are some energy on here that might might help you, okay? So let's look at Shell. I like Shell. Shell is still uh, bullish. I mean, it's true. Whoops. Let's, let's not use a red one and let's make it a little bigger. There you go. Uh, Shell is bullish here, and you can see the breakout. 
So we, we all know energy is a little bit hot. Um, it's a matter of, of uh, timing your entries here. Let me grab something. Tool. Clips. There we go. You know, it, it's a matter of, of uh, choosing your entries wisely. You want to you wanna be buying near some sort of support. Something that you can make an argument with their support. Uh, the 3H trap is a great entry uh, tool that we have. Um, you also want to watch for breakouts in there. That can be helpful as well. So Shell still looks quite bullish. DRE looks a bit bearish. So um, just like a bullish chart is, you know, a trend up and then we rally and pull back. We look in these areas right here, these areas, and or a breakout, right, just like that. Well, the short setups are exactly the same way, just completely upside down is what they are. So here's our trend to the downside, just like this. And here we've, I don't know what you'd call this, really, low to a high, higher low, failed high, and here we're moving down here. Here's a 500 period moving average. So it might want to see some weakness here. I suppose if the market got bullish and it started moving up, I would not trade this chart. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I would not try it. Uh, uh, here's Conoco. Conoco. Um, That's still pretty bullish looking here to me. Uh, another one of those energy charts. I like it over this candle right here, which is 105.35. And that's where we are now. Um, we have a bullish candle, doji, bullish candle. This is a doji continuation pattern. And we've got an inside day here. That, to me, that's uh, a perfection. Um, you know, if, if we failed yesterday's candle, I can't imagine why I would want to be in it. Um, we, we would be looking at a failed top. And we would be underneath today yesterday's candle. And that would even put us underneath the T-line testing the 17. Like I said, it's, I mean, I think this is a great risk-reward setup. And I can't imagine why anyone, why I would be in it under uh, yesterday's candle. 105.85. Um, C, I'm watching C. It's on the watch list. I'm not going to get too excited until I see proof in the market. It's another um, inside day here. Um, we'll talk about this more today. Because I, well, we'll talk about it more today. This alert that I did yesterday, um, where we have a low, high, higher low, and C is setting up for that. And there's a lot more setting up. Not that they're all buys. Uh, the market needs to be working with us, and it's just not at the moment. So, but we'll keep an eye here. Anyway, you look at it, when, well, what I'm looking at, I guess, I've got 21%. Uh, to the 200 up here, That's this is the rounded bottom breakout. So I don't need to be in a hurry. I'm going to let the market help me out. Uh, we're going to watch XLF, make sure that we've got the financials working for us. Uh, but C might be right in there. JP Morgan is another one. Um, JP Morgan, here's that alert uh, I did yesterday here in the trading room. Um, and i I got to tell you, I'm, I'm really liking the way it works. Uh, so we've got this set up here. We are under the 50 period moving average. So what that does is it makes the 50 period moving average a target for me. And now, you know, if I'm in, if I get in it, I'll have to reevaluate at that level. Pay real close attention to price action. We've got a bull kicker here. We've got that low, high, higher, low. Uh, so I've got my eyes on that one. Zim, Z-I-M might be a trade for consideration. Um, We've got a nice trend so far. We've got that inside day setting up here. And you can clearly see the lows and the highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. Uh, that's what you want in a trend. That's nice. XLE, if you don't know what energy stock you're taking a look at or which one you want, um, just take a look at XLE. It kind of covers all of them. And... Uh, here we are, this, what was that date on this? 5-9, this black candle. I think that COP we looked at had the same thing. 
Um, we can see the trend here. Nice trend working out. And this is another one that's meeting the qualifications of that that uh, scan that I found, I guess. Low, high, higher low, and we're moving up. Um, the little, the, the brother to the first scan I made was, you know, alert us on the breakout. So I'll be watching those, um, the breakout sign. Okay, so ARC. ARC looks a little short here. A R K K. I hear a lot of people talking about ARC here lately, so I thought I'd put it up there. Very clearly uh, to the short side. Um, is there a chance? Is there a chance that this is going to kick off some kind of a bullish move? And this is just simply a pullback test. Yeah. Yeah. It's possible. It is very possible. This is why we watch price action. This is why we uh, put lines on a chart. This is exactly why we do this. There you go. Anything above 48.83 is a short. I don't care if that's down there. It's a short until it's not. Trend is still down. If we're looking to be bullish, I think we're going to have to break out over 44.01. And then I think the bullish move uh, is, is, is limited, which there's nothing wrong with 23%. But I think we have limited upside until we see more downside in the market. Uh, DVN, another energy stock setting up. Here's the trend. There's the trend right there. Um, you know, there's go with the power. The power is with the trend. And there's there, there is a lot of energy stocks that they're working. So we should take advantage of that piece of information. Um, if you have the information, use the information. If you have the information and don't use the information, well, I just don't know why you wouldn't use the information. So, anyway, so watching this, I think a nice little breakout might be the uh, a key here. Um, also, if it just starts to get bullish, you know, maybe underneath that line, you know, if you're if you don't mind buying right here at a uh, little bit of resistance, I, I could see that, and then boom we pop out. Um, anyway, we've got that alert that'll, that'll tell us when we get pops out. Pop, pop, pops out. <laughs> yeah. Oxy. Take a look at Oxy. That's another one uh, setting up here. We've got the low, the high, the higher low. I think at the end of the day, what we need to see is above 68.90 here. Nothing wrong with buying it in here. Just keep that stop steady. Keep that stop. I think one of the worst mistakes any trader can make right now, and really I'm just talking about me, is uh, allowing losses to grow. If it doesn't work out, get the hell out of it. It works or it doesn't. There's no in-between. Not, not in this market. UPST is still a short. Had a big gap down, back down, back gap, uh, gap down. We've rallied up. Nice little relief rally for the bottom pickers here. Go for it. Now, boom, now the sellers are coming back in. Could we be setting up for something like this? We could be, but until we are, don't guess. Don't guess. Follow what price is doing. The overall trend is still down. Price is still making lower highs. Go with the trend. Um, ABBV, looking a little short here. Blue eyes failure. The gap down. Probably some kind of news. Could be earnings. I don't know. We rally up, fail the 50, and we start to curl back over. Nothing about right in here suggests the bulls are stepping in. Looks more like sellers. Watch the dotted deuce here at 141.20, and you got the 200 down here at 132.50. Watch price action in case it does have some kind of reversal. All right, everybody, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you back here in about 25 minutes when the market opens up. You guys take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday, okay? Back shortly.